Today we are going to understand the collapse command and this collapse command is used uh, to aggregate variables. So let's say we want to find a mean of certain variable or median or standardization of certain variable. Then this is the command that we are going to use. So let's uh, load the data and this is basically the NLS 88 data set but I have just removed a few variables uh, from this to, uh, to be easy to understand this data and to work with it. So, uh, so how do we uh, aggregate a variable? Firstly, if we were uh, going to use the, the, the menu, then we would click on data, create or change data, other variable transformation command, and uh, we have this make uh, data sets of mean, median, etc. This is the command that we are looking at. This is the collapse command, but we are going to work with the uh, the, the command uh, window. Okay, so <clears throat> to collapse uh, a variable, we write the name of the command, uh, then we write the, the, the thing that we want to perform with that, with a variable, and then the variable name. So if I were just going to show you the, uh, the help window, we write the command name, then C list. C list can contain these uh, words, so we can use mean, median, uh, P1, P2, or any value in between. P5, 50 would stand for median. Uh, we can use maximum percentage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are the. This is the list of the things that can go into these parentheses over here that you want to perform. This is the parameter that you would uh, get from uh, from the from the variable from the after performing the collapse command. Okay, and then we can also use if, in, and then we can use weights, and then we have a bunch of options that we are going to discuss. Okay, so let's perform this. Uh, rather, let me show you the number of observations. We have 20 to 46 observations, right? And if we do collapse mean wage, uh, we would be left with only one observation, and that would be the mean of the wage. So uh, you would have probably seen that when we collapse the, uh, the data, we are just left with the specific variable and the specific values. So it literally collapses the data, right? Uh, so if, if that makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, but uh, the default is mean, right? So whenever we collapse the data, remember to save the data before collapsing. So in this case, I have already uh, saved the data into the collapse.data file. So I would just re-import the data. So we have the data, the original data set. And if I was to use this command just as collapse wage, and instead of writing mean in parentheses, it will also give me the same result. And the reason is that the default of the wage, uh, this collapse command is this mean in parentheses, right? So it would work both ways, but it's usually a good idea to write, uh, you know, the parameter within the parentheses. So that way the, the person reading the code would quickly understand what you are going to perform, what this co code is going to execute. Okay. So let's aggregate, uh, now in this case, finding a mean of wage wasn't uh, somewhat meaningful, right? But uh, before moving forward, let me show you the value that we got. It was 7.76694. And if we were to perform the summarize command, we would get the sa same value for wage variable. So just to make sure that you understand what this collapse command did. It just gave us the mean. But in this specific uh, circumstance, it, was, uh, it wasn't it was much of a benefit to get a mean. We could have got it from summarize command. But wouldn't be nice to have, you know, mean or sum of the wage over certain group. So we can aggregate variable over the group. So uh, let's collapse and uh, find the sum of wage for each race or rather I, I should uh, I should use mean because mean would be meaningful um, the idea was for writing some was to show you that there can be other parameters that we can calculate but anyhow so if I uh, collapse the data we uh, we get to see that we have the mean wage for 
for each race. Uh, now it isn't limited just to one category, we can write multiple categories. So each time I have to import the data back to get the original data and I collapse, find the mean of wage by race and married. And then in this case, we would have a combination of all the categories of race and married. So in married, we have two categories. So in total, we would get three into two number of observations. Uh, so we get, uh, you know, the mean wage of white single and white married person uh, or population or sample and then black single, black married, etc. So on and so forth. So that way we get uh, the mean wage for, uh, you know, both the groups. So that was aggregation of variable on the group. What if we wanted to perform a single parameter for multiple variables? So we wanted to calculate sum. In these all cases, we were working with a single variable, but what if we wanted to have multiple variables? So in this case, we have this uh, hours variable, which shows the usual hours worked. And we want to calculate the sum of wages and hours by race. So we just write the command as it is and add as many number of variables that uh, we want to add. Uh, remember, uh, it is not just single variable that we can add, we can add VAR list, which stands for variable lists. So we can have multiple variables. Okay, so this is how it would look like. For each race, we get the sum of wages and hours. So white people performed uh, 60,000 something number of hours of work. This was for single parameter but multiple variables but what if we had multiple parameters and multiple variables. So let's just say we wanted sum of wage but mean of hours. So that is the way we write the command for if we write the parameter and then the name of the variable. Then again the parameter and the name of the variable. So uh, we get the uh, wages is the sum which you can clearly see and hours are in mean form. And uh, what if we wanted multiple parameters for same variable and this is uh, when most of you would uh, get an error uh, Uh, okay, so we collapse, we want to find the sum of hours and also the mean of hours, right? And if we run this command, we would get an error because what it is trying to do is it would create this sum of hours and then when it is going to create the mean of hours, the variable name that it would create would be same, right? So if you could have seen it from here, it what what name of the variable would it give? So if it created hours, then again, it cannot create hours, you know, give the same name to the variable again. So what we need is a way around. And again, from the error, you can see that it is a name conflict. So hours is equal to sum of hours. And again, the this variable name hours is equal to mean of hours. So that is the name conflict. And the way we resolve the name conflict is if we look at this help menu, we, we get to see that Whatever the new name you want to give, that is the new name or target variable name, is equal to the variable name, the current variable name that you have, right? So, uh, so we write the collapse sum and the new variable that, uh, you know, the new name that we are going to give this new variable uh, is equal to the current variable. Then mean new variable name is equal to the current variable. And this is how we get the sum of hours and mean of hours. Remember, this is the name that we provided to. You can give any name that you want. Okay, so we will move to the case-wise or row-wise deletion option, which is CW option. Now, uh, let's summarize this wage and hours. You get to see that we have 
uh, 2246 observations in wage and 2242 observations in hours now if we were to collapse create mean or some whichever parameter you want what collapse would do is it would create a mean for all you know by taking into account all these 2246 observations but in case of number of hours it would only take these 2242 observations what if you wanted to you know create the mean you wanted to calculate the mean only for rows that are that that have complete data that do have a data of wage and hours rather than a missing variable missing values in 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 a variable so let's for the purpose of demonstration i would you know create some missing values in the wage variable so replace wage with a missing in row 1 to 500 so now uh, if again i were to show you this uh, then you would see that wage have 1746 observations and hours have 2242 and if we were to use collapse and in this case we were to use uh, we were to count the values rather than um, calculate mean or some or some other thing of the wage and hours let's see what we get we get exactly same number of observations right so what this means is that if instead of count i was to use mean it would calculate the mean of these 70 1746 observations and the mean of these 22 42 observations for hours but this is not what i want i want is that we should have a row wise deletion or case wise deletion and what it means is that only calculate the the mean of wages where the wages and hours data both the data is available for only for those rows and uh, calculate the mean of hours where only the data of both these variables the wage variable and hours variable is available so where the the case is complete right where the row is complete just keep those uh, those and and calculate the mean for those rows so so we use cw which stands for case wise and when we do that let me first uh, bring in the data and perform this right and now if we do that you see that we have 1742 you know because this is the uh, these are the observations where we have the data for both wages and hours uh we can also use the if option the conditional statement in the collapse so if we collapse find count of wages if wage is greater than 30 by race so we get to see that there are 35 white people who have, whose wages are greater than 30 but there are only 48 black people whose wages are greater than 30 we can also use weighted average right and uh, let me bring the data back so if we collapse we find the mean of wage but now we use in these uh, these brackets we use this fw uh, which stands for frequency weight which would be equal to hours <clears throat> so it would calculate the weighted average of means and weight would be the the number of hours so if you have different stocks and uh, different industries and you want to calculate the weighted um average uh, returns of industries then you are going to use you know the mean of returns fw would be equal to uh, the market capitalization of the uh, you know the 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 firms and this by variable would contain the by industry right but in this case we are going to do that with our data probably i would make another video for that so we now have a weighted uh, average of wages right but just to demonstrate and give you a clear picture of what it is doing behind this scene i would just take uh, a screenshot of these right and i have it over here and i would move step by step and uh just to 
demonstrate what what just happened so first we create by race we we generate a total variable that would contain the uh, the number of hours for each race then we can calculate the percentage for each individual that would be percentage is equal to hours divided by total and then multiply the percentage with wages <clears throat> and then we take the total of the sum of these uh, over the race so that would be the uh, value weighted uh, uh, weighted averages so we get exactly the same values 8.39 uh, and then for the uh, 7.08 for for black people that is 7.008 and the last one is 9.21 so we get exactly the same same values just to to get you uh, the idea <clears throat> what have happened behind the same but in this case we get to keep all the data but in collapse we, we just get the you know the collapsed data sets thanks for watching the video do hit the like button hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned uh, to more updated videos and if you want to download the do file for this uh, this video just click on the link in given description